Hello Technology Crazy here and today I'm going to be teaching you how to get Windows 8 on your iPhone. Okay, so this is my iPhone 4 with Windows 8 on it, and before I start this video, I want to go over a few things uh, just to make sure that no one regrets doing it, because this is a, more of a risky thing. Um, I did a video a long time ago about how to put Windows 7 on your iPhone, and there was a lot of people that messed up and they had to restore their iPhone. So uh, take note that if anything happens that's wrong and or your iPhone stops working, all you have to do is go and plug it into iTunes, maybe put it in DFU mode and just press restore. The very second requirement that you're going to need to do is have a jailbroken iPhone. If you don't know what jailbreaking is go and search it on YouTube and then the third we're gonna be adding some resources and all that stuff and I'll be going over that in a second okay so first off it's probably worth mentioning that this is not a full Windows 8 it won't run Windows 8 programs but it'll make your iPhone look and act like Windows 8 which I think is still pretty cool so uh, very first step is to open up Cydia here and that's what you get when you jailbreak we're gonna be downloading an application called Dreamboard which will allow us to change the theme of our iPhone as well as the look of our iPhone which is a little bit different than Winterboard which will just change the theme now once it's done downloading here, we're going to go into search, and we're going to let this load. We're going to be searching Dreamboard, and that's all one word. Okay, so press exit there, and Dreamboard. Just like that, press search. My iPhone's a little bit laggy right now. And uh, make sure you install that and respring your iPhone. Next is to go into Manage, and we're going to be adding a source. So Manage... Sources, edit, add. We'll be adding repo.insanely.com. So that's repo.insanely.com. And the links will be in the description as well as on the screen. Once you've downloaded that source, we're going to be searching for the theme now, which is Metroon. Just like that. And we're going to be looking for the one that, we'd, uh, from, that comes from the source that we just downloaded, which is right at the very bottom for me here. Click on that and install that. After you've done installing that, make sure you respring your iPhone or do a full reboot. I found that some of the features didn't work like changing your username in the theme didn't work until I resprung a few times. Uh, so after that, we're gonna be looking for uh, Dreamboard, sorry about that, uh, Dreamboard here. And here we're gonna have a few different themes. You won't have this one, this one. This is the Metro uh, theme that I tried before. It also is Windows 7, but it's not implemented very well. I didn't like it very much. You also have the Android one, uh, which is a completely free one that it comes with. Uh, but we're gonna be clicking on the Metroon one right here. And you're good to go. So I'm just gonna pull this to the side, press start. And this will bring us to uh, the, the Dreamboard theme. Should. There we go. Okay, so we can do a little bit of customization just by uh, swiping down. You can move it up, down, larger, or you can remove it from the start menu. So I thought that was really cool. You can also click up here and change your username or press lock, and it actually does have a fully customizable uh, lock screen. Actually, no, you can't customize it, but uh, it is a really cool lock screen. And um, we can also add our own applications in this by pressing anywhere outside of uh, these buttons here. we got all apps option down here. You can actually go and look through all your apps, and let's say I wanted to add this one, YouTube, to my start screen. I can just click on it and pull down, just like that. And uh, I already have it pinned, but you could press pin, press exit here, and it will be on our start screen. So now you can actually move it around by swiping around and uh, moving it up and down and bigger and smaller. Uh, so I guess that concludes this video. Please stay around for the Pick Me program. Make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe, and send this to your friends if you think it was pretty cool. I guess that's all from Technology Crazy. Goodbye. Anyways, the Big Bang program winner this week is Tech Film Productions. So if you're in need of a new application or maybe, uh, let's say, a game, go and check out his channel by clicking on the channel on your screen right now. Now, if you want to be part of the Big Bang program, that basically means a free shout out. All you have to do is go into my latest video and say, pick me, and you can say it as many times as you want, and I might pick you. So I guess that concludes this video. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Make sure to leave a normal comment too with your pick me's because that would be very much appreciated. And I guess that's all from Technology Crazy. Goodbye.